assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to learn daily physics and today you can see that we are going to start topic 2.3 of fcn non uniform magnetic field okay so we have started chapter number 2 and single particle motion and we have discussed 2.2 uniform electric and magnetic field so there were two cases and now we are going to start our 2.3 of non uniform magnetic field okay this was uniform magnetic field and we have discussed what is the cases of uniform magnetic field and now we are going to solve the case for non uniform magnetic field so we have seen how this gyration is and how for the uniform electric field of so this is the topic which we are going to do uh, we are uh, i'm going to introduce you what this non uniform b means okay what is the gradient of b and what is this b uh, what is the direction of p what is the direction of gradient of b then we will talk uh, in next lecture we will talk discuss this one and find out the value of this so let's move toward our lecture so moving toward our lecture as you can see we have to understand this diagram what this diagram is showing us so this diagram is showing us that we have axis x y and z x y and z so this is x and this one is y and this one is z so the thing is that our magnetic field is same like previous cases is along z axis okay this is our z axis and the magnetic field is along this direction okay along the direction of z axis but there is a function y what this function y means this function y means that it depends upon y direction also how it depends on the y direction let's see that and this these are not grapes these are the magnetic field lines okay these are magnetic field lines and you know that we repre represent like this and we represent this this is into the page and this one we call outward to the page out to the page this is like this okay pointing outward from the page like this okay you can see here this is like this an electric field line is if this is a plane xz plane so the magnetic field line will be like this outward okay coming outward from this page so this is rep representing this so you can see that the direction of the gradient here is del dot b is upward okay the direction of this gradient is increasing this word the number of field lines are more let's make another one it is increasing this way okay so you we know that we have some when we have some change with respect to some distance for example we call that f is equals to partial v by partial x or we call it partial v by partial r force is a gradient of potential okay okay so what is a gradient gradients mean that something is changing with respect to position okay it is changing here on first the field lines were more on second the field lines are little bit less and third 
they are decreasing gradually with respect to position okay not with respect to time they are decreasing with respect to position so the, it is non uniform with respect to y axis okay so the magnetic field is along z axis if the field lines are like this we say they are like this let's say uh, we have okay okay here here we go i'm pointing this like here so this is x axis red red mark is x axis my blue mark is y axis and this black one uh, this one is black one is y axis and this blue is z axis our magnetic field is along z axis this magnetic field is along let's say this mark is magnetic field and it is along this z axis okay and the gradient is decreasing along y here the field lines are more let's say on the top there are 10 number of field lines as we go downward on this axis the number of field lines are decreasing here we have 10 here we have let's say like this so i hope you understand that it is this gradient is decreasing with respect to y so in the above figure from this we can say that in the above figure the b is along z axis this b is along z axis but this b of z is now the function of y what this function of y means this function of y means that it is varying with respect to y there is some variation in b of z with respect to y which we call gradient which we will call the gradient of b we can write this gradient of b if it is along the direction of p we can write this del dot b uh, gradient of b we write it as the gradient of b gradient of b will be equals to partial b by partial y okay the gradient of b will be equal to partial b by partial y why it is equals to partial b by partial y because there is a change in b of z with respect to y okay this is gradient of b so this is the introduction of this non uniform magnetic field so in our next lecture we are going to find calculate the drift velocity uh, for the topic 2.3.1 where this is the similar case and uh, del dot b this gradient is perpendicular to the magnetic field okay magnetic field and uh, you know that they both are perpendicular to each other and then we are going to find out what is the value of drift velocity so in our next lecture we are going to find out this so i hope you understand it and thank you very much for your time